Well, dreary and wet to kick things off on this Monday here in central and eastern Kentucky area of low pressure spinning through the region. Uh, we're clearing things out here in the bluegrass. It'll be that way as we go through the evening, but we got another clipper coming down from the northwest. So that's going to mean a scattered rain chance sticking around for the day on Tuesday. We are looking at some milder temperatures by the end of the week, but we do have an impactful weather system on the way this weekend. Definitely some much needed rain. And speaking of the rain, you see the bulk of it in eastern Kentucky. Kentucky uh, breaking the clouds and with that low exiting the showers down around Hazard Whitesburg and Harlan should be moving out fairly shortly but you look back to the northwest you can already see a little bit of cloudiness beginning to increase nice night for southern lights you can see everything lit up with our bluegrass pace care Scott the AC camera network out of the Kentucky horse park Temperature at 46, winds earlier northeast, now they're northwest. They'll eventually go to the southwest, albeit light, during the overnight hours. We mainly stayed in the mid-40s much of the afternoon here in the bluegrass with the clouds around. Down south spiked all the way up into the mid to upper 50s, and that helped for a few rumbles of thunder down in that area earlier. Uh, again, temperatures, I think, will drop off into the 30s fairly quickly as it goes through the evening hours. So there's the aforementioned low moving out of eastern Kentucky. Brief break in the action, but this next clipper that we typically see during the late fall and winter months will dive down out of southern Canada right through the heart of the Ohio Valley tomorrow. And so the clouds will thicken up out ahead of it during the overnight hours. You see our future cast. Note the clear skies and temperatures drop off into the 30s. We may actually see our low for tomorrow, middle of the night, and then tomorrow are your scattered showers as we go through the afternoon. I think farther north you go, better chance you'll see a few. Area of low pressure, that's going to be moving out. And on the back side of it, maybe enough moisture for a scattered snow shower or flurry tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. Otherwise, just kind of a chilly day. But as this high settles down to our south and eventually nudges to the east, we'll start to see that return flow. And you see what happens with our afternoon highs. We we'll go from low 40s to low 50s Wednesday and into the day on Thursday. And then it gets a little more active. So looking at the two major models here, You'll note the timing off as we head into Saturday. Uh, it's rain, and then this data run wants to change things over to snow showers before we are in the clear Sunday night and through the day on Monday. The other model, the European here, brings the rainfall in a little bit later on Saturday, lingers it for the day on Sunday, and leaning more toward this scenario at this point. And then on the back edge, we see a little bit of a rain-snow mix into Monday before that system exits the area. But the focus is actually going to be on the potential for some moderate to even heavy rainfall. We'll take that given the drought situation. It's going to be breezy, even some thunderstorms in the mix on Saturday. And temperatures will be dropping off again. I think a healthy inch, inch and a half, maybe upwards of two, especially areas north and west of Lexington. First things first, mostly cloudy, cold tonight, at least later on. 32 for the overnight low, 46 tomorrow, more clouds, scattered showers. Looking a whole lot better by the time we hit Thursday, Friday. We press 60. That'll be our nicest day of the stretch. And you see the breezy, wet and stormy conditions Saturday at some point later on Sunday should begin to start that transition. The bulk of the moisture apt to be out of here, but nevertheless uh, could see some snow showers on the tail end of it. Something we will watch heading toward the upcoming weekend.